uh, teaching assistants at the University of Regina, uh, the retail and wholesale department store union, Local 568, uh, which, um, is that the Sobeys one or the Safeway one? Or the big one? The big one. It represents a bunch of people uh, in different workplaces. Uh, and uh, the Regina and District Labor Council, which donated money and uh, let us use uh, their lovely union hall uh, in all its fluorescent splendor, <laughs> uh, which, we, uh, which we appreciate very much. And um, I think that's... Yeah, no, I just wanted to add that there's a sign-up sheet on the table there if anyone didn't get a chance to leave their contact info, as well as a few books available, including the one uh, that's a great overview of boycott and boycott sanctions. And we did circulate a bag for donations, but if anyone uh, wants to give an additional donation <laughs> on their way out to cover travel expenses, which are significant, it would be most appreciated. I was actually going to mention all of those things. Sorry. Uh, but it's good to hear them from two voices, so uh, uh, thank you, Val. And uh, just, uh, I just one thing I just wanted to say is that I mean this was uh, organized as a labor event and a labor tour, and there is uh, a labor action committee in Regina that is active uh, in assisting the call for boycott and divestment and sanctions. And I think it's important for us to to work as union members to respond to the call from Palestine. And I think it's, you know, the, I think the comments that are, I feel the most important is that boycott, divestment, and sanctions are the most effective means of ending the occupation. And I think when there's a call for solidarity from a union federation, the response to that shouldn't be based on political expediency. The response to that needs to be based on justice and what is right. And so, um, you know, there are people working to that end in the labor movement in Regina. There are people working to that end in the labor movement across the country. And the sign-up sheet is for people who would like to be a part of that. In addition to that, the Regina Solidarity Group, which put on the Israeli Apartheid Week, are doing, you know, more uh, organizing within the community itself. And obviously it's a front where there's many struggles and they're all important. And part of that is coming out to events like this and we really do appreciate um, everybody coming out uh, on, you know, on a Friday night. We, we really appreciate that very much. And so thanks for taking the time to, to be 